Hi, I'm Lou. Another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Bill Kotzoom of Corvette Mike Midwest. Midwest. And uh, you're going to see some of the uh, fun Corvettes that he has. These are all for sale. So uh, let me grab the cameras I usually do. And before I go too far, I'm going to bring my friend Jim, who's my camera holder, because without Jim Wazek, I wouldn't have gotten the chance to meet um, Bill. So, Bill, you're going to come with me. Okay. Make sure you speak right there because that's where they're going to hail you. And here we are. What do we have here? We have a 1954 Corvette. <laughs> Come on with me. Polo white with red interior. Now, how many of these were built? In 1954, there were about 3,800 built, and this is serial number 2503. And, wow, this is just really unique. You just don't see this on the road. They are very rare cars to see. And... This is uh, uh, just beautiful. I mean, is this, obviously it's restored. Yes. I mean, uh, uh, is, is this sterling silver? You can see my fingers go through, through the grates. That, I think, added a little bit of the European flair yeah. for the road racing cars. Yeah. It was at 53 through 55 Corvettes. A little grate like that. Man, that looks, the grate looks great. And then we've got the, uh, Chevrolet there, kind of a cursive writing feel to it with a little flare. We're into the rockets and you see these wheels, they've got a, you see my finger behind them, they've got that spinner feel to them. And the white wall, actually it's, it's slightly faded which makes perfect, perfect with the car. That's your real wide white. And as I let the camera catch back up, we're going to take an overall look at the back of the car. What's it like driving this? Is it, I mean, this is early Corvette. I mean, is it, what's your real thoughts? It's, it's like a little mini truck. Okay. They ride rough. Uh, you know, they don't handle real well. They've got a solid rear axle. But in general, uh, you know, they're a fun car. You just wouldn't want to drive it from here to California. Yeah. And I'm noticing the, to open the trunk, if you notice, it's actually underneath the bumper. And Bill, you were sharing with me something interesting about this rear the license plate, the license frame, plate frame here. is actually the radio antenna. Wow. Uh, yeah, high tech back in the early 50s. How cool and, is that? Go ahead. And basically, all of the wiring goes in, and this frame here is the antenna for your AM radio. Okay, very cool. And uh, we've got obviously conveniently placed the gas cap. I mean, some of the other Corvettes where you have gas caps in the middle of the back of the trunk and things like that. Now, how do you open the door? There's no door handle. You look across. Okay, wait, you said look across. We're gonna do that. You can see that, that white knob there. Okay. And that's the handle that you pull back on. Okay, so this is a, now what is this, is this just a knob or, because that looks like a door handle, I can see an up and back here. Yeah, that actually okay. is. So this is like a true roadster. This, this, this is for the side curtain release. Okay, side curtain release. So this, this is, is a true roadster. Yes. Which means that, and there's a glove box right there, there's the ashtray, I don't even know how you get a cigarette in there. But here's how we do the number there. I'm actually going to take a little better shot of that. Probably get it that way a little bit better. And uh, the neat 50s mirror. And the Chevrolet logo in the center. And the carpet is wonderful. What is this little, what is this? That's a hood release pole. A hood release pole. Okay. And there's one on, because this is... Oh, you, you know, got one on each side. One on each side, yes. I saw where you were going there. Got it. Okay. And then these, these gauges here on the inside, just like lights and wipers and things? You, yes, sir. Okay, let me just jump in. You got a steering, or a... And that says... I'm seeing that right. It says brake, so when you pull on that brake, that light comes on, I'm assuming. And 
give you a nice, oh, there's the a mirror there. A nice feel down the center of the radio. Some engaging there. The speedometer. Is this a second spin? Oh, it's a tack. A tachometer. Okay, tack. And it also measures RPMs, revolutions. Just like an odometer, it'll, it'll, it counts the revolutions. Wow. The engine. It's also all automatic transmission. So there's your shift lever down. So your shift lever's right down here. Just like that. Okay, and I see a button here. Obviously, we push that, and this back lid opens up, and you pull up your... The top. Let's right. uh, pop the engine. Pop the engine compartment. And we have to run around both sides. Later in 1954, they came out with one hood release where they ran the cable. Gotcha. Okay. Go. And there you go. The six cylinder, which was the correct one at that time. That was the only... The only one, yep. yeah. Don't have any choices there. There's your brakes. Giving you a flavor for that up front. And I'll get on the other side. And again, the early, Go ahead. the early ones had three carburetor pots to them. Okay. Or, or air cleaners, and then the later ones, they and combined it to two. Okay. So this is a later 54? Yes. Okay. Yes what you're sharing with me. Alright, there's your battery. And actually there's quite a bit of room on this side. You can see the ground down there. And, ah, nice. The Chevrolet blue flame. You can see the little streaks giving it the flame look. And the 150, I'm guessing that's cubic inches? Yes. Alright, and this is uh, radiator water? As a matter of fact, I'm sorry, Lou, the, the 150 is the horsepower. 150 is the horsepower, okay. Is 230. 230, okay. And then this is just radiator water. You pour it in there, I'm guessing. Yep, yep. okay, so it comes right off there. I'm just going to get some of the details on that so that people can kind of read what's there. That time frame will work for the camera to catch up. Maybe I can do that and make it a little easier. Okay, and people can stop that and see that as we come back out. But yeah, that looks great. All right, well Bill, let's shut the hood as we usually do and have you stand next to it. I'll have you shut the other side and we'll have you stand on that side. Okay. Well, remember this is uh, Bill Cott Zoom at Midwest Corvette Mike. So these are cars that are for sale. You can see the Corvettes in the background as well. Bill, thanks for being on My Car Story. Thanks, Lou, for having us.